Hi, welcome to Harvard Applied Math 205, a graduate course in scientific computing and numerical methods. I'm Chris Rycroft, and in this video we're going to introduce several numerical schemes that we can use for integrating ODE initial value problems. We're going to introduce the forward and backward Euler methods, and also the trapezoid method, and we'll see that all three of these methods can fit within a general one-step method framework. And this framework will be useful for subsequent analysis. Let's begin with the general form for our ODE initial value problem, that y prime is equal to f of t and y, with initial data that y of 0 is equal to y subscript 0. And suppose we want to numerically approximate the solution to this differential equation at time points tk equal to k times h, where h is a small step size, and k is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. And we'll write yk to be our approximation to the true solution y evaluated at tk. And a simple approach to solve this problem is to use Euler's method. And here we will approximate the y prime in our ODE using a finite difference approximation. And this will lead us to the formula yk plus 1 minus yk divided by h is equal to f of tk and yk. And if we now know yk, we can use this formula to find the subsequent yk plus 1. And it's worth noting that throughout this section, all of the equations that we're going to write down work the same regardless of whether y is a scalar or a vector. And therefore, all of the methods that we used can be generalized to the vector case. So there's an alternative way that we can arrive at Euler's method. And this uses a quadrature-based interpretation. And suppose now that we integrate our ODE, y prime is equal to f of t and y, over the interval from tk to tk plus 1. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus, this will give us that y at tk plus 1 is equal to y at tk plus the integral from tk to tk plus 1 of f of s comma y of s ds. And now let's apply n equals 0 newton coates quadrature to approximate this integral. And we'll use a single quadrature point located at tk. And therefore, this integral from tk to tk plus 1 of f of s comma y of s ds can be approximated as the size of the interval tk plus 1 minus tk multiplied by f of tk and yk. And more simply, that is equal to h times f of tk and yk. And again, we arrive at Euler's method. We have that yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus h times f of tk and yk. So we'll now take a look at a Python example that implements Euler's method for a simple equation y prime is equal to lambda y. Let's now take a look at the program Euler.py that we can use to demonstrate the forward Euler method. And we'll apply this method to the test ODE of the form y prime is equal to lambda y using the initial condition that y of 0 is equal to 1. And this ODE has the exact analytical solution of e to the lambda t that we can compare our numerical solution against. In the program, we first initialize our value of y and also set our time variable equal to 0. We choose a step size of h is equal to 0.1, and we make use of lambda is equal to 0.5. And we'll then apply a loop to take time steps until we reach t equal 2. And within this loop, we can calculate the current analytical solution and print the results of both our analytical solution and our numerical solution and the error. And we'll then apply the Euler step. So our new solution y will be equal to the old solution y plus our step size h multiplied by the right hand side of our ODE, which in this case is just lambda times y. And we'll then update the time variable. So let's now go ahead and run this program. So by default, this program will output the results to the terminal. And we 
see four values corresponding to the time, the numerical solution, the analytical solution, and the difference. So we're now going to look at these results in GNU plot, and to do this, we'll run the program again, and we'll save these results to a temporary file called out. So now in new plot, let's plot our exact solution. And our numerical solution. And so we see that there is fairly good agreement between between the two. Although we can definitely see that by the end of the interval there is a visible disagreement between the exact and numerical results. Now let's try running this program again but we'll halve the time step size. So we'll change here h to be 0 0.05 and if we run our program again we now see that the agreement has improved and even though there's still some visible disagreement this is smaller than the previous case and as we'll show when the step size tends to zero, our numerical solution will approach our exact solution. We'll also find that the Euler method is first order accurate, meaning that the discrepancies will scale like the time step to the first power. We'll also look at methods where we can significantly improve on this and our errors may scale like the second or fourth power of our step size or perhaps even more rapidly. We can use this quadrature based perspective to derive alternative numerical schemes and suppose that we looked at n equals zero Newton Coates quadrature but we now may use a single interpolation point at tk plus one. In this case we'd end up with the backward Euler formula where yk plus one is equal to yk plus h times f of tk plus one comma yk plus one. Now, it's worth noting that the two integration formulae that we've derived so far are actually rather different in character. And if we look at the first formula, that's often referred to as the forward Euler method, then this is an example of an explicit method. And here, when we look at the equation yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus h times f of tk and yk, then this gives us a explicit expression for yk plus 1 in terms of yk and we can immediately evaluate what yk plus 1 would be. If we look at the backward Euler method this is an example of an implicit method and the formula that we have here involves yk plus 1 on both the left hand side and the right hand side and we therefore have to solve this equation to find yk plus 1 in terms of yk. Now, it's worth noting that this is definitely possible. And for example, suppose we were trying to solve the equation y prime is equal to two sine ty using the backward Euler method. Then if we looked at the first step, we would have that y1 is equal to y0 plus h times sine t1 y1. And to compute y1, we could introduce a function f of y1 that's equal to y1 minus y0 minus h times sine t1 y1 and we could then solve for f of y1 equals a 0 using a nonlinear root finding method like the Newton method. So this demonstrates that implicit methods are workable however we can see that they are more complicated and they will be more computationally expensive at each step. So we could ask ourselves why we might bother with implicit methods at all. And we'll see in the next few videos that in certain situations, implicit methods have some advantages over explicit methods. Now, we can also derive methods based on higher order quadrature. And suppose we apply n equal one 
newton coates quadrature, which is the trapezoid rule, to the interval from tk to tk plus 1. So we'll use interpolation points at tk and tk plus 1. Then in this case, we'll end up with the trapezoid integration method, where yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus h divided by 2 times f of tk yk plus f of tk plus 1 yk plus 1. And so this is still an implicit method because the yk plus 1 appears on the right hand side. If we look at these three methods altogether, the forward Euler, the backward Euler, and the trapezoid method, then we see that they can all fit within a similar framework where yk plus 1 is equal to yk plus h times some function phi that has some dependence on tk, yk, tk plus 1, and yk plus 1. And because of this, we collectively refer to methods like this as one-step methods, and they allow us to evaluate yk plus 1 in terms of yk. We'll also look a little bit later in the course at multi-step methods, where yk plus 1 might depend on previous values of our solution, like yk minus 1 or yk minus 2. But now we're going to concentrate on these one-step methods and look in more detail at their numerical properties.